Hi, Mike here, to explain why I would be great for the next Total Drama. For one, I have a lot of different talents to offer. I can be agile and graceful, but also tough and scrappy. With the keen senses of a wilderness survivor, I'm ready to win this season. I don't care what my doctor says. Um, d did I say doctor? I meant psychiatrist. Ah, no, I mean, oh, do over. Ow! Oh! Mom and dad are doing fine You guys are on my mind You asked me what I wanted to be And now I think the answer is plain to see I want to be famous I want to live close to the sun Or pack your bags cause I've already won Everything to prove, nothing in my way I'll get there one day And Mike! Can you believe we're here? Yeah, it's beautiful. Lo oh. Hang on! I'm, I'm coming! coming. Oh. Uh, no, you first, please. No, no, please, go ahead. I insist. Well, I mean, if you insist. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you one. Okay, my first confessional. So, uh, Zoe, nice girl. Okay, super nice. I wonder if she'll go out with a guy like me. See, I have this, um, quirk. I just hope my condition doesn't ruin everything for me again. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually in the Total Drama Confessional. It's so exciting. Everyone seems so nice. I hope they all like me. I could use a few new friends. Or friends, period. Oh, what if they hate me? Maybe this flower was too big. Am I trying too hard? You like me, right? Yeah, and my great-great-great-uncle Boris invented swimming. Before him, people just swung their arms around like this and sank to the bottom. And my great-great-great-great-great-great... Yeah, that's great. So stoked to be here. I've been watching Total Drama forever. Who knows, maybe I'll even make some new friends. Yes, that would be good considering you were an only child and all. What? Who told you that? Your soul reads like an open book. You had such a lonely childhood. It must have been difficult. Attention, fresh meat! See the trail leading into the forest? Race to the end of the trail and do not disturb the wildlife. Zoe the Lonely, Team B. Only as a child? Seriously? The Aura Whisperer, Team A. Ah, saved by a girl, Team B. What the heck was that thing in the forest? I'm pretty sure that cry does not belong to any known animal species. Relax, it'll all make sense eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this season of Total Drama will be a little bit different. For example, in every episode, someone will be eliminated. It's never been that hard before. I know, I'm good. You are hereby dubbed the Mutant Maggots. Um, what's with all the references to chemical waste? It's the monster! with this bomb? Um, he won't really blow us up again, will he? Won't I? Find out when we come back. Those are your team totems. You need to cut them down and get them in the river and ride them back to the campground. First team there gets their pick of the cabins. 
But hurry, the totems are rigged with bombs that will explode if you don't plant them in front of your cabin in seven minutes or less. Starting now. All right, let's do this! Yeah! Oh! Jeez, what a baby! Aw, oh, man! This isn't working! <gasps> Oh, darn it! Cut the dang rope already! That's what we're trying to do, Mike. Mike! Name's Chester, Missy! Uh, excuse me? Mike is so sweet. You know, I really don't get his old man comedy routine, but I bet it's really funny if you're from, like, France or something. Hey, shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't need fancy saws and axes to cut ropes. We did just fine with stone! Yes! yes. yes. Mission accomplished. My first waterfall! And maybe our last! <laughs> Today in their crazy log rides. Mike! Huh? Zoe! <gasps> Zoe! Hang on tight! Okay. Thanks, Mike. Uh, no problem. Still standing, the mutant maggots win the first challenge. Yay! Hey! How'd you sneak that in? Easy! I stuck it in my poof! <laughs> These young whippersnappers with all their yammering and tomfoolery! Aw, <gasps> oh, come on, Chester, keep it down! <gasps> Fine! For now. Up and out of my little morning glories! It's time for today's challenge! What? Bay of Dismay? Yikes! Sounds like one of those fight locations in Total Warriors 2. You like action movies? If you're into ultimate kickboxing, I may have to marry you. <laughs> There's some kind of two-legged shark monster down there! Whoa, one of us is a pants wetter? Oh, thanks, Brick. I know that must have been tough. I'm with Anne Maria. We should stop. Not that I've got any secrets to hide. <laughs> Sit down, Pointy. I'm not losing this game. Whoa! Take it easy! Ah! Don't tell me what to, to do, but let's <laughs> Oh, and as you may remember, I said that the winning team from part one would have a distinct advantage in part two. But there was no winner! Yeah, don't remind me. He is up against Zoe at the gangplank. Sam and Mike will battle double trouble. Go, go! Here! Got it! Okay, I'm going. Ah! Okay, Mike. It's just some jumps over an area you can barely see. You can do this, come on. <gasps> no, only one person can do this. Lana, the Olympic queen of gymnastics. <laughs> Whoa, Mike unveils a secret skill and the maggots retake the lead. <gasps> Svetlana? Mike, how did you do that? Huh? Uh, do what? <laughs> uh, here you go. Please, let me go! <gasps> I said, let me go! Ah! Oh, sorry, but I did tell you to stop. Ah! To the maggots, the spoiled. McLean brand soap, shampoo, and conditioner guaranteed to wash off the stink. Stink. I like waffles, too. Ow! <gasps> Darn kids! Back in my day, we ate with our hands like decent folk! <laughs> you're hilarious! Unless you're not joking, but 
You are, right? <laughs> okay, okay. I admit it, I, I have multiple personality disorder. I try to control them, but they never listen to me. <sighs> Lose the old man impression. It offends my sense of victory. But your Russian gymnast, Svetlana? How do you summon such strength and precision? I, uh, rehearse a lot in front of my mirror. Duh! <laughs> Attention players, please head directly to the looming tragedy that is Mount Looming Tragedy. <laughs> Did we win? I would have eaten you by now. Okay, mutant food, on with the challenge. Go! <laughs> you can do it, Cam! Focus! Ah! Oh. Thanks. Anytime. Whoops! Rats have the right idea. Maybe we can use something from the trash pile. Come on! Let's get climbing! Shaboom! Greetings, ice teams! Old enough for ya? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Time for part two of today's challenge. Capture the snow fort. To win, you have to either demo the enemy's fort or capture their flag and bring it back to your own fort. Yeah! 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 <laughs> what a bunch of suckers. Maggots rule. Yes, this battle is so ours. Yeah! Ah! Why are they called mystery balls? Because they all inflict major damage thanks to the secret weapon hidden inside each ball. But some will damage you, so choose wisely. Brick, Lazy, Zoe, you're on offense. Your mission, capture the enemy's flag. The rest of us will defend the fort and fire the snowball. Be careful. I think Scott's psycho. And you, uh, don't let Svetlana pull a hamstring. <laughs> I'm gonna go over there. The guys back home are gorgeous, but they're all hockey thugs and juvie rejects with a collective IQ of 10. Mike is hot and smart. <sighs> I was really starting to think hot, smart guys were imaginary, like unicorns and perfect hair. Too easy. Incoming, 12 o'clock! Hey guys, wait up! Oh no, we shouldn't. I'm afraid we have no choice! Hey, quit pushing! Mike, do your Svetlana thing and get on the catapult. I, I, oh, I can't. My personality, uh, I mean impressions, are uh, hard to, um... And first up on the vault, five-time Russian champ, <gasps> it's Svetlana! <laughs> get the flag, Svetlana! Uh, make way for Svetlana! One side, losers! Hey, yo, you looking for this? Oh, my. That's ours! Hand it over! Mike, let's get it back to our fort! Hey, yo, pasty, you want to touch the veto? You got to make an appointment. Now that's what I'm talking about. Come on, Mike, the play's over. You win best actor. Now give me the flag. Oh, yeah? Over my tanned body. Let's rumble! Give me that play! Nice magnifying lens, Beverly. That's sabotage! Maggots win! And here's your reward. Okay, did Vito show up earlier? Oh, Chester and Svetlana are hard enough to keep in line, but Vito? Oh, things just went from tough to sucktacular. <laughs> with them. <laughs> so move fast and stick together. What do we have here? Hey, find your own piece of paper. Come on, let the runts have their clue. I've got a plan. 
So what's your big plan? Find a place to hide so we can follow the rats and their clue to our first souvenir. Into that bush. Look! Team Colors! Could be a trap. We should send in our most expendable player. No one's expendable. Do you want to play nice? Or do you want to win? Sweet! Nice work, Cam. Mike is so sweet. The way he's always encouraging Cameron is totally cool. The way he's always going into character is totally weird. But hey, nobody's perfect, right? Zoe. Oh, she is all I think about. At least when I'm the one in control. <laughs> hey, Zoe, do you think this key's gonna open something later on in the challenge? Zoe? Whoa, where's Zoe? Zoe! Zoe! And we call out the search and forge ahead. That's against the cadet code. Never leave a soldier behind. Zoe! <laughs> Zoe! <laughs> Zoe! Um, you mean by ourselves? Ah! Rick? He was just here a second ago. <gasps> Where did he go? Oh, well. Two words. Dead weight. Your cutthroat attitude stinks. It's called a winning attitude. Get used to it, or get out of the way. Freaking sign! How's that guy supposed to get a freaking tan over here? <laughs> guys, guys! Come on! Joe and me found where we have to go next! <laughs> guys? Ew! Come on! That's not what Chris meant when he said to stick together. Joe! Hey, Joe! Oh no! Her flashlight! This can't be good! Joe! See? This is why we need to stick together. Would you stop? We need to focus. See any clues, Vito, baby? Hey, what's a clue? Guys, over there. These hooks must be the last souvenirs. Hmm, I wonder what they're for. Cameron, look out. What? Ah, go get the hook and we'll win. Fine. Go get the hook and you'll get more of this. Yeah, bada bing, baby. <laughs> Sorry, Red. Looks like Vito's only interested in classy girls. <laughs> I thought Mike was interested in me. Uh, Zoe? Yes? Spider! <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, don't move! I'm coming! No! Get the hook, not the schnook! Somebody do something! your first elimination ceremony. And mm, this tension is so delish, I could kiss someone. Not you, Mike. We all know where those lips have been. It is tomorrow's new rat. I'm not taking the hurl of shame? Nope. From here on in, Brick and Joe will be fighting it out on opposing teams. <gasps> oh, lame. Thank you, sir. I won't ignore the code again, sir. Whatever. All right, guys, settle down. Stick the landing, said Lana. Practice makes perfect ten. Hiya. You're going down, Twinkle Toes. I've had it with you, punks. Fascinating. I swear, I don't know how I ended up kissing Anne Maria. Sometimes I get so deep into character that I don't know what I'm doing. So, you're like uh, a method actor? Exactly! Look, Zoe, you're like the most amazing girl I've ever met. The most amazing? Yeah, and if you don't like my, um, funny characters, then I I'll totally retire them. I don't want you to give up acting, but maybe just tone it down? Consider it toned. Hey, get off the 
ammo, bozo. <sighs> Don't push. Yeesh. Are you wearing orange paint? Oh, no. No. Nobody disrespects the tan. <laughs> Ladies, why fight? There's enough candy for everyone. Candy being me. Yeah, Vito. Give me some sugar. I get the message. FYI, Mike, that is not toning it down. Oh, don't worry, Zoe. You won't be lonely forever. Oh, hey, Don. Well, tell that to Anne Maria and Mike. Or should I call him Vito? Trust me, Mike likes you a lot. How can you be so sure? It's all over his aura. The Mike parts of it, anyway. Really? Wait. What do you mean, the mic parts? Don? Was it something I said? I don't like to speak badly about anyone, but Don totally creeps me out. Reading auras, talking to animals. I'm not saying she's a witch, but she might be a wizard. Indeed. Meanwhile, the maggots are stuck dodging water mines in a leaky dinghy that couldn't float in a kiddie pool. Shabam! Oh, I'll drive. If that's okay with everybody. Whatever. I'm gunning. I'm tanning. And I'm watching Vito. <sighs> I see your anger and I like it. Now use it to drive us all the way to victory. <laughs> Try faster! It doesn't go any faster! I think Princess Goody Goody is trying to save a tooth us. You mean sabotage. Whatever, Brainiac. Don't worry, babe. I got this. Oh, Vito, you are so thin. <laughs> Let's see if we can slow down those rats. Eat go, losers. Wait, we only have three goals. We need to save them for the bells. Of course, but we only need to hit two out of three to win. <laughs> oh. oh, rats. <laughs> wasn't me! Yes! Nice one, Scott! Yes! Oh my gosh! We're losing! What can we do? What we need is an Olympian! <gasps> it's time for Svetlana to get gymnastic! Svetlana will now perform the triple pike dismount! Ah! Make... Look! The rats are back in the race! Not for long! Jam. Oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> Look out! <laughs> uh, my thoracic vertebrae. Nice driving, Red. I'm so sorry, guys. But look, the last bell is just over there. Time to take one for the team, String Bean. And by take one, you mean... Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah! Sweet. Nice work, buddy! You really came through for us, Beansprout. Well done! Aww. Um, hello? Is it our turn yet? Ah, keep your panties on! Eesh. Nice hair. Looks like Princess Leia lost a scissor fight. Actually, it's more like Queen Amidala. More like Queen Amidorka. <laughs> <laughs> now that is how you do hair. I'll pass on the frilly, girly hair care. Thank you. Campers, meet me on the other side of the island. Hey, Zoe, really like your hair. Let me guess, and your character, Vito, likes Anne Maria's hair? I really thought Mike was a nice guy, but either he's into me or Anne Maria. Pick a side, okay? My multiple personalities are really messing things up with Zoe, especially Vito. I never thought I'd have so much trouble just keeping my shirt on. 
Luigi's shoes? Wow! We get to dress an actual model. Uh-huh. Right after you catch one. Catch a model? Child's play. The way they eat, they'll pass out after three steps. Did I say human models? Don't think so. No, your models are in there. They're wild. They're mutated. And like me, despise teenagers. Okay, fashionistas. Go! Find something that can't eat us. Five minutes, people! Hey, guys, how about that slimy maggot? The one that's the size of a beagle. <laughs> It'd be a cinch to catch and dress. We could just slide it down the runway. Killer idea, Bubble Boy. All right, step aside and let me work. This maggot's got to look banging. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I got style or what? <laughs> um, I agree with the maggot. Three minutes remain. We're running out of time! If you guys don't mind, I'll take a crack at it. There! What do you think? Too much? Too little? Be honest. Unless you hate it. Wow, Zoe! Not bad! It's not good, either. One minute! It's fine! We're not spending all day on this. Let's get back to Chris. It's Freaky Forest Fashion Time! Maggoteers, show me something fierce. Chef, drop that needle. This gorgeous plus-sized maggot is showing off a bold retro fashion like no other. Her swank new hairdo perfectly complements a dynamite vintage 60s go-go dress. Ugh. Little gross, what with the oozing and squirming. I give it an 8.5! Yeah! Oh! Ah! Hey! He took my jetpack! What do you mean I'm liable if the Yeti eats Lindsay? It's not my fault she's delicious! Gotta go! Hey! hey, hey. For our next challenge, the two teams will compete to rescue Lindsay! Yep, that's it! Everyone grab a canoe and head to Boney Island. <laughs> it's all good. Way to go with the fashion tips. See that just now? See what? Lindsay! Where are you? <sighs> no. Oh. Scott, are you okay? This is all my fault. What do you mean? My team voted off Dawn behind my back. And she's the only one who could talk to that big ape. Lindsay is doomed. <laughs> oh, don't blame yourself. It'll all work out in the end. You'll see. Poor Scott. Who knew he had a sensitive side? <laughs> Guys! They... What's with all the scaffolding? I'm turning Boney Island into my personal resort. The health department said it was unfit for human life, but I sent him workers anyway. Don't hurt him! He just has big hairy body issues! Oh, I hear that. I mean, uh, did you hear that? He's got issues! We've got to take that Psycho Yeti out! That is what Team Rat is going to do! Take this, hairball! <laughs> How are we gonna rescue Lindsay before they do? Perhaps 
we can get someone prettier than Lindsay to lure the Yeti away. Oh, hey, I got the goods. But no way am I running up that junk pile in these shoes. Well, I guess maybe I could try. Nuggets, break out the beauty products. I'm going in. Okay, you're sure this will make me look good, right? Oh, uh, yeah. The only person who could give you a smoking hot makeup job like this is me. Or a circus clown. Hey! Hurry, Sam's making good time. Oh, man, we're never gonna... <gasps> man, if I love a Pete, you're not paying the Sistine Chapel. It's just makeup. <clears throat> Step aside. Dang fool, kids. Just get some rouge on her and there, done. Finally. Huh. <sighs> Wow, now I know what they mean by drop-dead knockout. <laughs> that poor Yeti won't know what hit him. Whoa, what did you guys do to Joe? Uh, what we did to Joe? Ah! Beautiful lady! Team Maggot, you've got immunity. Yeah! Ah, come on! Huh? Oh, just add some rouge, huh? Hey, Chester, here's a makeover for you! Ah, what did I do? What did I do? Someone! <laughs> well, that was a complete fiasco. Thank you, Chef. Now for something very special. Mutant maggots, you're probably wondering why I asked you to sit in on this elimination ceremony. I'll need a strong volunteer from each team. Right here. Ditto. Pack your bags. You're hurling them, too? Nah. I don't give people time to pack before they get hurled. These two are switching teams. <gasps> hey, teammate. 